Here are five bourbons we would never buy again. First one's gonna make many people upset. Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. Kira, ah. I don't even want to tell people why we wouldn't buy it again. I simply want you to taste it. Ah, it's astringent. It's bitey. Maybe some bitter chocolate chips, but. You nailed it. It's astringent. Mm -hmm. It's a cinnamon bomb. Well, it's a it's a scoop full of cinnamon. It's not a cinnamon like a fireball. It's like a, it's cinnamon, like a... cinnamon challenge. I love wild turkey. You are a wild turkey fan. Oh boy. And I don't mind most wild turkey. Actually, I like most wild turkey. I do not understand people's obsession with wild turkey Kentucky spirit. It I feels don't. like an overpriced hot whiskey out of wild turkey. And our second bottle of it, and they've both been the same that way. And I just don't like it. I agree. You know what? This one is like. But what am I fucking doing here? You know what I'm saying? Can I throw something else your way? Sure. This is 101 proof as well. Oh. It is twice no. the price as Wild Turkey 101, and it comes across astringent mm -hmm, and hot. Mm -hmm, mm. But we just put out a video about five bourbons and whiskeys around 50 bucks that were fantastic. Don't miss out on them. Have FOMO about them. When you think about those in comparison to this, no. that oh, begins to show gosh, the yes. stark contrast between this at 50 bucks and what else is out there at 50 bucks. Yeah. Next bourbon we will never buy again, Four Roses Small Batch Select. Here, I know people are gonna be upset about this one too, I know it, but here in Michigan, and this is not worth the price. And you know what? You know, if you've been watching the channel for a bit, we didn't like Four Roses for a while. We finally got some good Four Roses. We've become fans. We got over the hump, okay? It was, a, it, was a, it was a rough pass with Four Roses. But even over the hump, this at 104 proof is just not worth the money. At the end, how do I say it? Like it's a lavender hibiscus acid. It's so flowery. Like this should not be a bourbon. It should be more of like a gin to me. A gin that's gone bad. Each time that we've had one of these, we've been very slow to replace mm -hmm. it. And mainly we replace it because we're a whiskey tube channel, not because we actually want to replace it. It's almost like a forced replacement. But the reason why this one is half gone or two thirds gone- Because we keep trying. It's actually because to me, this is such a cinnamon bomb that this becomes our mixer for our Coke Zeros at the movie theater. It's a bougie, <laughs> it's a bougie ass mixer. If now this is not the nice cinnamon. This is the dry cinnamon scoop you're getting in your mouth. It is drying. I don't want to go so far as to call it astringent or tannic. I think it's less than that. Yes, but it's I agree. inching in that direction. Next one on this list is WB Saffle, 107 proof, out of wild turkey. People love this little 350 milliliter bottle. I'm gonna tell you this right now. The reason that I don't like it is A, it's not mind blowing. Mm -hmm. It's good, it's not mind blowing. But B, this half bottle is 50 bucks. Okay. So when you think about this, Ask yourself, is this a $100 bourbon? Because a full 750 milliliter of this would in fact be $100. Look at the dude's riding a fucking elephant. There's no, oh, there is literally no elephant on there. this on this label, none. The smell on this is fucking glorious. This is like a bright granulated sugar with some vanilla sugar pop. So kind of like pop rocks. When sure. you put them in your mouth, but what they would like smell like. I'm getting you on like a strawberry pop rock situation. I was going to say strawberry and then that blue raspberry. 100%, like 100% on the nose. It smells so good. It smells like 4th of July. Let's get into it. This is very hot for a 107. Exactly yes. my point. It is very tannic, very yes. hot. Mm -hmm. And it, then think about it as... If you paid for a full 750 milliliter of this, if you paid $100, mm -hmm. would you be disappointed? There are so many things that are better 
than buying that like for a hundred bucks, right? So it tastes like this red copper metallic -y taste to it, which is strange to me. I do like this. I like the nose on this a lot. I think people get persuaded by the nose. It's almost like a wonder bra. You see the boobs, big crevice. It looks like the boobs are big. Well, yeah. And the, then you the... take the bra off. And you and then it goes, wonder where the boobs went. This is 2014. Dude, women are smart now. Do you actually think she just so happens to have everything you find attractive? Bangs, giant tits, glasses. They're fake, man. Fake glasses? If at a half bottle, if this was $35, I think I'd have a different opinion. Mm -hmm. But this being $50 to $55. For at this a, little guy. And this little guy, no. The smell is so the, good. The nose is fantabulous. I'm not taking anything away from the nose. The palate pisses me off. Peerless bourbon whiskey finished in a rum barrel. This smells like a swimming pool. This smells like band-aids. On the nose, rum is rum is just fucking hot. Not hot as in like sexy, like that one girl that's got the boobs, the actress. Oh yeah, we all know her. What's her name? Susan Sarandon? <laughs> I can only thank you uh, in, in the bed. Send me somebody. Oh, that sweet, oh, she's cute. I was a little girl with a big imagination. Everyone has boobs. Even me, I've got some titties. <laughs> Ooh, you? I got some titties. Got... Ooh, I got some titties. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? <laughs> Hold up, this shit fucking stinks. <laughs> but the... <laughs> I'm trying to like be nice. I'm... I would guess that this is a four year Kentucky bourbon. Nothing wrong with four year. That's been mm -hmm. finished in a rum barrel. And at that point, it's not worth $135. $135? You're getting Barrel King. I saw a meme that was uh, The Last Supper. And she just says, we'll have 12 waters, please. And he winks. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Jesus. That's hilarious. That's actually really funny. <laughs> I feel like Five. Jesus has got like a, a coolness to him where he's like, John, you drank too much wine the other night. Not way too much, just enough to make me angry. Benjamin, you aren't wearing your WWJD bracelet. Jacob, I don't mind you saying my name, but not after you stub your toe. And Frank, you know what you did. I just can't repeat it because I'm Jesus. Horse Soldier Barrel Strength Bourbon. This is a 122 proof. It's orange, tobacco, mm. ash, black pepper, woof. You just nailed that nose. The best nosing job I've ever seen you do Dude, in the I last so three years. Dude, I do so many jobs well. Like my own. No, she doesn't. Uh, this nose job though, unlike the one that many celebrities have had, you nailed that. Mm. Orange, tobacco, black pepper, that is this nose. It is spicy hot. Fruity, it's fruit forward, but you get all this hotness on the end of it, which if I'm eating a taco, I want. If I'm drinking a bourbon, I don't want I don't. it. Oof, it's just like this white and black pepper, and it's... It's just called pepper. I'm, I'm gonna struggle to buy it again, because it is hot and it is tannic. Why can't yes. Diddy bang chicks of legal age? And you know... I'm dripping in bitches. You 60-year-olds? They're of legal age. And you know what? And that's fine. And you know why? Everyone needs love. Everyone needs love. And guess what? Love is my penis. I'm just saying, just... I know a lot of of-age sluts. And if they have kids, it's fine. You have full range inside now okay it's open you can lean to the left lean to the right uh, number so one big pussies i mean number one i am a hermit and i like to be in my own cave get away are you covering your butt say. against aids yes that was rude it could be from the front as well and you i forgot your name so you're off the hook for now <laughs>